And two teenage immigrants and their struggles over citizenship open a window on the challenges faced by America's so-called dreamers. It is the focus of Sanctuary City, now on stage at Steppenwolf Theater. Two's got your ticket. Here is CBS2 entertainment reporter Vince Gerasoli. Coming of age is difficult for all teenagers, but for two young immigrants living in the shadows without the proper documents, the tensions mount. I got everything here. Yeah, like my family's there, but everything from over half my life, that's all here. Sanctuary City's main characters were brought to this country as children. In the heightened anxiety created by the 9-11 attacks, they struggled to envision a future and find footing. Playwright Martina Mayok has purposely given neither character a name or country of origin. The Pulitzer Prize winner, who studied at the University of Chicago, often explores immigrant themes. Martina, what inspired you to write Sanctuary City in the first place? Um, I was writing another play called Queens, and um, there was a dreamer character that walked into the narrative one day. That character reminded me of a number of people that I grew up with who were undocumented, weren't able to go to school, weren't able to, to sort of start their lives because of uh, um, immigration policy. And so I got up in the middle of the night, three in the morning, and I started writing what I thought were notes um, for the play. I realized I was writing the play, and within three days, I had the draft of Sanctuary City. Would you say you were thinking of these uh, different uh, bits and pieces of information that made their way into Sanctuary City for a long time, or did it surprise you that all of a sudden it called to you? It was, it was a nice surprise. I think there are some plays that uh, come sort of fully formed, and uh, we, 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 loved it. we love those moments. Clearly, it's a subject matter you know a lot about. But along the way, did you learn something new or did something surprise you? Oh, always. I feel like I uh, I write to find out what I don't know about what I think I know. Zooming out on the psychology of a lot of first-gen um, people, including myself, uh, that that feels like, what is it like to move through the world when, when during your formative years it was communicated to you that you're not welcome? It puts a lot of strain on your relationships, your 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 parents, your friends, to kind of make up for for the lack of safety in, in the rest of your life, and and um, uh, so it just like it kind of increased my increased my empathy for my friends and and also compassion for some other things that I do in my life as well. My Oak won the Pulitzer Prize in 2018 for her play Cost of Living. Sanctuary City is playing at Steppenwolf Theater through November 18. Remember, two's got your ticket. I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Vince.